Some lines are not meant to be crossed. Some limits are not meant to be broken. Nature has laws written into the fabric of the universe itself. One of the most fundamental is the law of absolute zero, zero Kelvin, the coldest possible temperature where all atomic motion ceases, a final, unbreakable barrier. But what if it isn't? What if, in the hidden corners of science, in laboratories shielded from the world, this law has already been broken? What if reality is far stranger than we've been told? Number five, the magnetic spin system. Our journey begins not with matter itself, but with the invisible forces that govern it. In 1951, a Harvard physicist named Edward Purcell conducted an experiment with a lithium fluoride crystal. He wasn't trying to break the laws of physics, but to understand them. By placing the crystal in a powerful magnetic field, he could influence the spin of its atomic nuclei, a quantum property that acts like a tiny magnet. He aligned most of them with the field. Then, in an instant, he reversed the field's polarity. For a fleeting moment, most of the nuclei were aligned against the field, a state of higher energy than random alignment. In the bizarre mathematics of quantum mechanics, this inverted population is described by a negative temperature, colder than absolute zero. It was the first glimpse into a realm previously thought to be pure fiction, a place where adding energy makes a system colder, not hotter. This wasn't a substance you could touch, but an idea made real. A ghost in the machine. Number four, the Mott insulator. Heat flows from hot to cold. It's a simple rule we live by every day. But what happens when a system refuses to play by that rule? In the quantum world, some materials, known as Mott insulators, should conduct electricity but don't. The electrons are frozen in place, repelling each other with such force that they create a perfect, motionless grid. In 2011, physicists in Japan took this concept to an extreme. They trapped ultra-cold ytterbium atoms in a lattice of lasers, simulating the behavior of electrons in a Mott insulator. By carefully manipulating the atoms, they created a state where the coldest and hottest parts of the system were neighbors, yet no heat flowed between them. They had created a stable boundary between positive and negative absolute temperatures. It was like holding a flame next to an ice cube and having neither one change. An impossible wall, standing firm against the laws of thermodynamics. It suggests that on the quantum scale the universe can build barriers that logic says should not exist. Number three, the sodium gas quantum cloud. Imagine a cloud of gas, a million times thinner than air, floating in a perfect vacuum. This is the world of ultra-cold atoms. At Ludwig Maximilian University in Munich, a team of scientists took a cloud of about 100,000 sodium atoms and cooled them to within a whisper of absolute zero. They were held in place by a combination of lasers and magnetic fields. Then the scientists did something counterintuitive. They didn't remove more energy. They quickly adjusted the magnetic trap, forcing the atoms from their lowest possible energy state to their highest. For a brief moment, the cloud of sodium gas registered a temperature of negative one billionth of a Kelvin. It had become one of the coldest and paradoxically, one of the hottest systems ever created the atoms began to behave in ways that defy classical physics. Instead of flying apart as a normal gas would, they began to clump together. The negative temperature was creating a negative pressure, pulling the atoms inward, fighting against the natural expansion of the universe. It was as if gravity itself had reversed. Number two, the Bose-Einstein condensate. As we approach the absolute limit, matter itself begins to dissolve into something new. A Bose-Einstein condensate, or BEC, is a state of matter where individual atoms, cooled to near absolute zero, lose their identity. They merge into a single quantum entity, a superatom behaving as one wave. In 2017, a team at Washington State University created a BEC from rubidium atoms. 
but they didn't stop there. They manipulated the lasers trapping the condensate, giving the atoms an effective negative mass. When pushed, the atoms would accelerate backward toward the force. In this state, the condensate exhibited properties consistent with a negative absolute temperature. But this was different. It wasn't just a fleeting state of spin, it was an entire physical object behaving as if it were colder than nothingness. It existed for fractions of a second, but it demonstrated that negative temperatures could be sustained in a macroscopic quantum object. It was a premonition, a proof of concept for a universe with entirely different rules. Number one, the cold atom laboratory. Our final entry isn't on Earth at all. It's in orbit aboard the International Space Station. The Cold Atom Lab is the coldest known spot in the universe, a place where the near-perfect vacuum and microgravity of space allow for experiments impossible on the ground. Here, scientists can create Bose-Einstein condensates that last for seconds, even minutes, an eternity in the quantum world. While the lab's primary mission is to study phenomena at positive temperatures near absolute zero, its capabilities open a door. With the distractions of gravity and thermal vibrations removed, it is the perfect environment to create the most stable, long-lasting negative temperature systems ever conceived. The official research is classified, the results closely guarded. But the potential is clear, in the silent cold of space, we may have already created matter that is not just colder than absolute zero, but sustainably so. A substance that redefines the very meaning of hot and cold, order and chaos. The lines we draw to define our reality are often just illusions. The laws we thought were absolute are merely suggestions, waiting for the right conditions to be broken. Absolute zero is not a floor but a doorway. Through it we see a universe where energy can create cold, where gravity can push instead of pull, and where the fundamental rules of existence are negotiable. What we have found in these hidden laboratories is not just an anomaly, it is a message sent from the deepest levels of reality. A message that tells us the universe is far more strange and far more complex than we have ever dared to imagine. The truth doesn't disappear, it simply waits in the cold to be discovered.